Good day, everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create SBRL reports using a Microsoft Excel template. I'll be sharing my screen now. So SBRL is basically um, a reporting language that accountants use to um, create reports. So rather than do it in the traditional formats, they do it in a form that is easily understandable by both machines and also um, humans. So I believe you can see my screen now. So the name of the bank we are working with over here is known as Weed Bank. So you can see I just entered the name here, then um, the website for the bank, then the legal um, the legal entity identifier. Then I chose the language over here. I'm working with English. So I chose English. Then um, the currency, I selected US dollars. You can pick from this drop down. Then also you, are, you, you should also pick the current year and the previous year, which is very common when it comes to accounting reports. Um, so what I would do is, so there are so many options. There are different type of financial statements here, but for the sake of our time, I'm only working with statement of financial position and order of liquidity. That's the only financial statement that was selected here. And you can see it over here. So what I did was I got um, the actual financial statement from this bank known as Weed Bank. Then I transcribed the values, the facts in their financial statement into this Excel workbook. So from here, you can see um, the values over here. So I enter them um, individually. So I did all this manually. So afterwards, um, then to start the generation of the SBI report, all you need to do is to come over here and click on export ESEF. So ESEF is like a... Um, a syntax based on XML that is common among European countries. So you click on this, then it tells you to pick the folder where you want to save your XBRL reports. And this even goes further um, to, so let me pick, um, let me choose a folder here. Um, let me do it here. Yeah. So this also goes for that to also generate it in an XHTML format using IXBRL. So that way you can easily view your reports in your browser without needing another tool to do that. And um, I have already um, configured RL with, um, into this system. So um, in the... Um, in the process of generating the reports, it's also using RL to do some validation. So you can see some of the um, the um, information from RL. And I'm getting some of this information because I did not add ESEF to my RL. So there's an ESEF plugin that should be added to RL to be able to, um, so that this Excel workbook can validates um, ESEF clearly using RL. But I didn't add it because I am not in Europe and um, I'm only using this because I want to create um, some kind of tutorial around generation of reports. But it is recommended you, <coughs> you um, add the plugin to RL. Probably I will do another tutorial on how you can add plugins to your RL um, after this. So what I will do now is I already have it saved. So I will stop sharing the Excel workbook. Then I'll go to this um, export file that we have here so that we can see what was generated by 
um this excel um workbook So I'm going to share my screen again. So let me first off look for what I need. Okay. So I can see the folder was successfully created. So let me reshare. Oh. So I'm resharing. Yeah. So this was the folder that I chose. And from this, you can see that our weed bank, you can see the reports and XHTML document, uh, which is based on IX, um, IXBRL. Then let's extract this. Let's see what we have inside. So um, this is being extracted now, the zip file that contains um, the XBRL um, file. So if we should come over to weedbank.com, we are going to see our XBRL files. So you can see everything. You can see the calculation.xml definition. You can see the presentation and the likes. So we can see the version in English, in Spanish, and so on. So let's open the, um, then we can also see the schema definition file also. If I should open any of these, you are going to see that what we have here are um, synchronous to what is in the Excel file. And this is also based on the IFRS taxonomy. So it's based on the IFRS taxonomy, but it uses a modified form of XBRL, which is the ESEF that is common among European countries. So let me just go to my, the reports and I will open it so that we can see how um, this is similar to what we have. So I'm opening it. I will stop sharing and I will reshare so that you would see um it's in my microsoft edge browser yeah so let me stop sharing and i will share now yeah so you can see um what was um created what was exported um based on the IXBRL form that we have, the XHTML. One thing I want to say is that apart from using RL for the validation, there's also another tool by um, the, the makers of this template, this Easy ESF, which is known as um, Easy QC, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the QC, I believe, stands for quality control. So that's also another layer of validation and some kind of um, ensuring that um, the report was created and everything is um, corresponds to each, to each other. There are no positive sign when it's meant to be negative sign and what needs to be summed up are in line with um, what we have in the European standard. So I believe this short video has been quite informative. Um, it's just a short way of um, getting started with XBRL. I will be adding the link to download the Easy SF in the description. You can um, download it and use it. It's free of charge. You are not paying for anything. Um, so have a nice day. In our next video, we would we, we will most likely see how we can use RL. We can add plugins to RL. We can add um, the um, ESF plugin to RL and see how we can work with it.